Imagine if this is your posture. Your it back feels like rolling. my back is like that right now. Mine too. Welcome back! That probably peaked at my bad. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight. Today. <laughs> it's been one of those days. You think about ending it? You know she was a good Glenn. We'll miss her. One here for a long time. He was here for a good time. She was here. Dan for... gave it a Viking funeral. Yep. We're going to talk to you about some of our favorite value bourbons right now. Is it Dustin and Kelly's day? Yeah, it is Dustin and Kelly Ballou's day. One of my favorite bottles of whiskey behind us. A little burr rye. This is a 2016 burr rye. Can you pour that without breaking it? I'm going to be very careful. I just broke the cork on my son of burr rye that's a 15 yesterday. Which was a beautiful moment for me in that bottle because it really made me upset. I'll take a little bit. You know what? <laughs> so, um, thanks to Dustin and Kelly. Huge shout out. Yeah. Man, nobody can... <laughs> no, stop it. That... What? Don't. This is my unbroken glass, okay? We're going to discuss <laughs> our favorite current value, Curry. pretty available bourbons. Yeah, we tried, to, we tried to go pretty available on them because we don't want people to be like, I can't get that. But inevitably, it's going to happen. Um, we tried to stay on the cheaper side. So people also don't complain about the price tag. Well, here's the thing: they're this, this they're good values at their price point. That's all. Yeah. We're, that's all we have to but say. But the problem is available, cheap, good. You get to pick two. Sometimes like, that's you all can, you get. Man. If you pick three, that's like an exception to the rule, right? There, I mean, there are a couple. Real quick before we get into our list, why don't you just go down below, hit the the, the like button, the subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to know about when we drop videos. Ding. Kind of makes that noise. It does. Helps us out a ton. And uh, it's pretty much free for you to do. So it's lit. No, it's, it's actually 100% free. Like, oh. actual. Um, yeah, it might be. If you leave a comment and just tell us today if kiwi is the worst fruit you've oh, ever had. It's not. That would be great. All right, let's get in the list. <laughs> yeah. Do you smell that whiskey? Yeah, it's okay. What? Don't I'm gonna, ever say that out loud. I'm going to kick it off. Don't ever say that out loud. A little benchmark. Top flutter. Sean stole this from me. Let it be known. That was my favorite, and he knew I it. He took it first. It. He did pick it first, which is unfair and not reasonable. So I wanted. I wanted something on your list. Where is? We need a freaking some. Can somebody make us a cool podium box for this room? We need a box for this set. Oh, here. Look. We'll just. We'll use something shitty. Okay. Okay. Really Sean's use first one is Elmer, huh? benchmark top floor. Solid. Well, like, like twenty-four bucks. Can't can't beat that. Where's Dan going? Mine is a coffee grounds container. So we're professionals. Mine is 13th Colony American whiskey specifically. Now this is sour mash. Well, this is sour mash bourbon. Sorry, I get them all confused. I'm freaking sorry. Sour mash bourbon this. whiskey. This is 105 proof, and this gal's like 40 bucks. This thing. Dan's got that bougie list. If you guys don't know, it is unfortunately kind of high price wise, but. Well, everything's high. Like, we literally, as we're going through, Dan was like, I should have just recorded you while you were going through the list. Took on like, an hour. I don't, I don't think you can really beat uh, top floor for the price tag. Uh, if you want to substitute like Old Forester 100, maybe. Those are pretty interchangeable for me here. I think that beats Old Forester 100 for me, honestly. I really do. Oh, that smells good. That's great whiskey. It really is great whiskey. Um, the whole 13th Colony lineup, Sean and I have liked, and they've all been yeah, that's good. great value. So as the, a, I'd say this is a value distillery. The double oak that they just dropped. Oh, my gosh. Stop. I mean, that was basically whiskey of the year for us. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. needless to say, right there. this is great. For $40, 105 proof, great What whiskey. bottle number two for you, Daniel? Bottle number two. Do you like Blanton's? Pick yourself up some John J. Bowman single barrel. Yeah. Huge shout out. Especially if you live in like uh, Virginia. Where it's four, $50 and yeah. it's phenomenal. It's at every ABC store in the state. You know what? You like Barton? Can't find any Barton? And like to save your money? <laughs> How about Stonehammer? How about $20 Barton? $25? We're pretty sure it's Barton. Better than can't Kirkland. can't tell you it's Barton. That's better than Kirkland. For that real. is a lot better yeah. than uh, the Kirkland and small batch, single barrel, price. bottle, bond, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And there's single barrels of that. Yeah, we haven't I got our hands on that yet. Wonder good things. if a single barrel of this is as good as a single barrel of this. What and mean, probably huh? cheaper. Probably. Bowman single barrels are $50 and literally as good as Bland's, in my Fantastic, personal opinion. Yeah. Um, We've had some really, really good bottles. Like that's that is on the same track as like each Taylor Taylor single barrel for me. That like everyone we get just good. Yes, I agree with that. They're, I, they're always just good. I think this is better than each Taylor small batch. Yeah. Worse than each Taylor single barrel. Agreed. But 
I do think that this is as good as Blanton's, and Blanton's is impossible to find, or $120. Or $400. So f- from a value perspective, this is freaking phenomenal if you can find it. And if you're in the right states, it's everywhere. Next model. Ball number three. You know what? I'm going to just do my expensive one. I'll do an expensive one with you. Sorry, everyone. I'll do my most expensive one. If you do, if you show me yours, I'll show you mine. ECBP. This is going up to $70 in Michigan. That sounds bougie. That's expensive as hell. 12-year cast strength. I mean, hit or miss. Money wise, I have a nine twenty two here because Permanent we usually notes. like the nine. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Go ahead. We normally like the C batches a lot. Um, the last couple we we have liked the A batches have gotten really permanent marker for us, but still love the C batches. And for seventy dollars, it's hard to beat a twelve year cast rank bourbon. It's probably about impossible. Yeah. Um, mine, Sagamore Double Oak, and this is why. It's literally the greatest rye on the planet for people who like bourbon a lot, and it's around $60, and it's basically nationwide. It's, every, it's, it's okay. It's like hyper-distributed. It's phenomenal. And every time I kill a bottle, I just buy another one. Yeah. 96.6 proof. This is the... I already drank one this year, so there was one in my house that I got as a gift, and it's empty. And this one's almost like empty. problem. No, 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 not to me. Seems delicious. Yeah. This is phenomenal whiskey. And no I like double there. oaked. Oh, my, dude, I've literally gotten so good at flipping bottles. It's you crazy. You literally just smashed a in glass. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I should have been way more nervous. That's ECBP. A, no. All right, next one. Mm. Fourth bottle. I picked mine first. Sagamore Castring. Oh, that's weird that you copied me. Yeah, I like how you pulled out yours first. I... Picked mine first, and you know it. So, I'm going to go with Dragon's Milk Origin, and you can buy this on... All of my bottles are found almost nationwide or on the internet. You pick. So, this is a Michigan distillery and a Michigan brand and Michigan distillate, which is interesting. And it's like a pot still that tastes Irish-y. It's It's got those like really fruity mango-ish like flavors. I love that And it's this dragon-scaled black faded bottle. I mean, it's got a little dragon imprint on the back. Um... It's five years old. It's 95 proof. It's about 50 bucks. And you can buy it on the internet. Don't buy it from Cast Cartel. We were wrong last video. It was like $300. It really jumped that price. And it's not limited. Yeah. So I think, I don't remember if it's like JP Liquors. If you Google this, you can find it for like $55 yeah. on the internet. They'll ship it to you. More than likely, you probably live in a state that they'll ship to. Yeah. This is from New Holland. They were at the meetup at the Pours in the Park event yep. we hosted last year. And they're great people. Everybody we met was awesome. This whiskey, and they made it. It's freaking phenomenal. And the limiteds of these are even better. So. I chose just the cast strength outside of the, the double oak because I want a little bit more bite on the rye. I want to taste a rye. Daniel? That's really good whiskey. So I went with just cast strength rye. Which it's is fantastic. great. But also that's hyper findable. Yeah. That's like 60 bucks. <clears throat> that's, I was going to say, that's about every shelf that we ever go to nationwide. We can see it. To find like a six to eight-ish year... Yeah. Cask strength rye for sixty dollars at this point is great. Crushable. That's yeah, great. So which is a real issue with uh what is this? Uh hundred and twelve proof. Okay, last bottle. Um I expect a lot of hate on this, and I don't care. <laughs> I got some uh Brook Lottie classic Lottie, some scotch. I don't think I think you're gonna get the opposite of hate on that. Um everyone that likes scotch. Agrees that this is an amazing bottle. I actually think a lot of people that like bourbon bottle. get into scotch on that. This is a solid one. Yeah. Non-peated. Just it's delicious. a non-peated Isla. And if you, when yeah. you get into scotch, you realize that it makes it a little bit more special and cool. And look at it. It's 100 proof. It's so good. Great little proof it's range. It's so good. And if you want to get into scotch off bourbon, that's yeah. a really good I, bottle. I literally had a drink of it. And I go, I can't think of another $60 bottle that I could throw into this mix and enjoy as much as this. So you get scotch. Mom. Mom. Because I wanted that, and Dan got to it first. Bardstown Origin, the white label. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. It's $50. That's the, the bourbon. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 96 proof. The other one that we had um, got a chance to try was the bottled on weeded one. This one's the best one. We like one. that one a lot more. This one's so freaking good. That one's crusty. It's ridiculously tasty. It's $50. And while right now it's a little bit harder to find than normal, they're like producing a metric... Shit ton of it. So plus you get a teal bottle of mine. Everybody loves not being able to see their whiskey at all. Yeah. Everybody loves that. So, anyways, 
Origins, the white one specifically. There's going to be a bunch of it mm -hmm. pretty soon here, like a ton of this. That's like labels. a new series. Yeah, and it's a, it's going to be like a mainstay. It's going to be a shelf bottle. Six years old, $50, fantastic, and they made it. So If you don't own this bottle and you're ever thinking about getting into single malts, this is this is where you go, honestly. Next time you go to the liquor store, just buy that bottle and see oh, if you like it. So good. Or it's go to bucks. a bar. This is such a common scotch. I've been hurt be by bought everywhere. so many more bottles for more money. Than this. Oh, well, yeah. It, it's worth it. Give it, yeah, a, give it a little risk it if you're not in the scotch. Yeah, it's fantastic. Plus, every I like I drink a lot of scotch at home, Irish, because I just want a little break from bourbon more often than not. Like, literally the other night, I killed the the little bottle of Origin that we had, uh, the the Dragon, mm. uh, just because I was like, I want something different. I love 95 origin. proof. And it's weird. We had that little, I was like, it's something different. Yeah. Well, that's our list. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Like, comment, subscribe. Check everything out. Patreon and stuff. Cheers. That looks so pretty. That's so cool. It feels a little girly, though. You know? Yeah, it's feminine. Yeah. yeah. But I love teal. Yeah. So it's a that's great color. Right down my alley. Can you just buy like a color? Teal and white. Like a car this color? No, it's army Seafoam? green. Foam? Army oh, green. I think it's this color, isn't it? I wish. I'd 100% rock a car. Dude, I'd color. rock an RS5 in that color. A cut black wheels. Oh, yeah. Black grill. Fuck. Murdered out. Yeah. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. See, if you change this to black instead of white, it's way less feminine. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's it's because everything's light Blue on it. and white, yeah. yeah. I'm glad that we made this bottle feminine. It is. It is a feminine yeah. bottle. I truly believe that. And it's called the Classic Lottie, which doesn't Did feel super masculine. Shayla? Shayla sent us a sample of it, and mm -hmm. then I was like, we have to own that. Yeah. Because we both loved it. It's fantastic. Okay, before we put... Um, what was the second bottle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something with that mouth do. Uh, what was the second bottle? When did you pull the Elijah Craig out? Great question. Second? Stonehammer was second? Or First. Benchmark was second? Nope, Stonehammer was second. My Bowman was second, right? Yeah, sure. We got to talk. ask people to subscribe. That makes such a significant difference in our monthly. You just want to do it at the very beginning? You're putting everything back? Uh... Like a crazy person?